or whatever. Next question. He has a two-part question. Yeah. My question is, when do you look for your first employee and find continuous work for them? And the next part is, how much money do you put aside before hiring your first employee? So Tyler, I mean, that's a great question. And again, I see you've been, I think, liking, commenting on the videos. Uh, so I appreciate you doing that uh, for being loyal and also at the same time getting value from the videos. Um, anytime you engage with the videos, you or in, otherwise anyone else in the community, I definitely appreciate you guys doing that. It shows that you guys are paying attention. And that's something that I don't take for granted. So to answer your question, I would say that uh, it depends on the stage of your business, really, and the resources that you have. Um, when I started on business, uh, when I was doing my first 100K, uh, I used that money to basically fund marketing. I was the one-man army. This was a long time ago. This is more than five years ago. And so I started to just do that, and then I focused on generating that cash flow, generating that revenue, learning the experiences and the lessons. And then when I got to a point where I think I was at, I was doing about, about almost at a million dollars. It was $900,000 in, in the business. That's when I started building a remote team. So the remote team, I started bringing on people that had years of experience that would help me execute on certain points. Because at that point, you know, you got to question yourself, like at a certain point when you want to grow your business, we think that we can do it all. But, you know, the biggest businesses in the world, if you're trying to build it, you can't build it on your own. You need a team and the team is the most important thing. You need them to be able to assist you on the path to building that business because you only have 24 hours a day, right? Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, they all have 24 hours a day. So how are they growing their business? And how, even though they're super busy, they delegate, they have the people do specific things within the defined role. So it really depends on your revenue, your cash flow, if you have it, the stage of your business, where you want to get to. I think when you're at the 500,000, I made a mistake, I should have hired earlier on, uh, like I would say a year or two years earlier on because I tried to do everything on my own because the money was coming in and whatnot. But for me, I would have hired uh, build a team and focus on growing that because it would have been helped me grow even faster at a certain point Because don't try to do everything on your own, you know, especially at that point I think it's also tied to your revenue and your goals. Well, how big do you want to build your business? You want to be able to have that team in place early on um, What was the second question? How do you find continuous work for them? So how do you find continuous work for them is really it depends on your business, right? And if you have an e-commerce business there's definitely things that they need to do, right? You have marketing, you have sales, you have customer service, you have the operations of the business. There's usually only three core most important functions of a business, marketing, sales, operations. Those are the three core fundamentals that you, every business needs to have. It doesn't matter if you're a huge company or you're a small one person army. You're usually revolving around those three areas. And operations basically means management or whatever. So marketing, sales, operations slash management. You're flowing through between all three all the time, back and forth. So you need to bring on people that focus on developing those three things. Whether that's marketing to attract people, like digital marketing and sales to actually be able to generate that, whether it's e-commerce, your service business, your SaaS business, doesn't matter. And operations side, you're building the team, you're building the culture, you're having these different operations on the financials is included in the operations side as well. That those things are super important. So there's definitely a lot of areas in business. Business is one of the most complex things that you could ever do in your life. It's especially, if you want to call it a sport, I would say it's the most complex sport. So continuous work is not a problem. It's finding the right people that can help you in those areas that fit with your core values that also are competent enough to be able to deliver. Because at certain points in the career when you bring on people, it's not about having the continuous work. If they're doing the right work and at a certain point, if you're evaluating them, if they're doing the right thing within the defined role, they're producing results for you, right? That's the most important thing. And at the same time, are they enjoying the whole process? So there's, there's a lot of things. I recommend you watching the video that I recorded on building the team and building the culture when I have that video, if I don't already. Um, so again, thanks for asking the question. I went uh, longer than I expected, but I wanted you to get a lot of value from it. So. You sort uh, of went over this part too, but uh, he also asked, how much money do you put aside before hiring your first employee? All right, so how much money you put aside from uh, before you hire your first uh, team member? So that's another thing. I don't like calling people employees. I hate naming team members because they're working with you, not working under you or for you. So the most important thing is you want to set aside, I would say, it depends on the position you're hiring for. I would check market comparables. And also at the same time, you know, again, it depends on the role, right? Someone that you pay in marketing is different from someone that you pay in, in a financial specific position. Are they a management level? Are they operations? Are they execution people? Are they marketing people? What business are you in? What stage you're in? 
Like if you're at McDonald's and you're hiring someone to man the line for creating burgers and, and doing the tell you know, at the front desk, it's very different if you're, at, let's say, a consulting firm and you're bringing someone that's competent enough to speak with clients like a project manager, a project coordinator, or account executive, or a client success person. It's very different. It depends on the role. And then I would just do a Google search to find out. You can find out a lot of people that are hiring on businesses and find out the prices, I mean, not the prices, but the actual salaries that they're paying and whatnot. And you'll be able to find that benchmark and you gotta see if they're a good fit as well. So there's a lot of variables there, but I hope it gives you the context to be able to, you know, a foundation for you to start from. Uh, so thanks again, Tyler, and or anybody that's gotten value from this video, I want you to comment below what insights you got from this. Like this video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications to get future notifications on these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.